Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial. This is the updated video for the basic beanie pattern. If you guys have watched my first video, the stitches were kind of hard to see so I did make this one so you guys can see the stitches better. I hope you all enjoy. For today's tutorial, I will be using one skein of I Love This cotton yarn. It is 3 ounces and 153 yards. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a 5mm crochet hook. To begin, you will create a slip knot. So you will fold the yarn onto itself like this. Twist the yarn to where it has a little circle loop opening here. And then you'll come in through the back and then grab the shorter strand and then pull it through. You'll pull it tightly and put it on the hook there. To begin, you will chain up four. To chain, you will yarn over so you'll go under the yarn and hook it and pull it through the loop onto the hook. So that's one chain. You'll yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook again. That's another chain. And you will have a total of four. You will then slip stitch the first chain there. So we will go behind the chain and then grab that top loop. What we'll do again is yarn over, pull through the chain, and the loop on the hook. And what that does is create a little circle ring there. You will then chain up two. So again, we'll yarn over and hook the yarn. Pull it through the loop onto the hook. It's one chain. We'll do that again. And this does not count as a stitch. This is just to chain up to the point where we need to be to begin the other stitches. So we will be working into the center of the ring. So we will need 10 double crochets into the center of the ring there. To do that, we will yarn over, insert our hook through the center of the ring there, and then this uh, string here you're just going to hold tightly against the ring there and then we will trim it later. We will yarn over again, pull it through the center of the ring, kind of pull it up slightly. You have three loops on the hook. You will yarn over again, pull through two loops. That leaves you two loops left onto the hook, so you will yarn over one more time and pull it through the two loops which leaves you with just one. So that's one double crochet there. You will be inserting 10 all together, so nine more. You will yarn over, insert your hook through the center of the ring there, yarn over, pull it through the center of the ring and pull it up slightly there. Three loops onto the hook, yarn over, Pull it through the two loops. So that leaves you two left onto the hook there. You will yarn over one more time and pull it through the two loops. So that's another double crochet. We will do it again by yarning over, inserting your hook through the center of the ring, yarning over and pulling through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I will meet you back once you have 10 double crochets all together. So now that you have 10 double crochets into the center of the ring, we will slip stitch the first double crochet. So we will skip over that first chain two there. And then in that first double crochet, we will slip stitch 
To do that, we will insert our hook in that first double crochet. We will then yarn over, pull it through the stitch, and then pull it through the loop on the hook. So that's a slip stitch. So that's the first round. For the second round, we will chain up two. This again does not count as a uh, stitch there. So we will yarn over, pull it through the loop onto the hook, yarn over and do it again. That's two chains. In that first double crochet, we will insert two double crochets into the same stitch. So we will yarn over, or insert our hook through that stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You'll do that again into the same stitch, so that's two stitches in the same one there. You'll do that to each stitch around, you'll insert two double crochets into each stitch. I'll meet you back once you have done that. You should have 20 uh, double crochets all together. Okay, so now that you have two double crochets into each stitch and you have 20 stitches all together, you will then slip stitch that first double crochet. So you will skip over that first chain two we did. Insert your hook in that first double crochet, yarn over and pull through the stitch and the loop onto the hook there. For this next round, you will chain up two, so you will yarn over and pull through the loop onto the hook, yarn over and pull through the loop. And again, this stitch, these two chains, does not count as a stitch now and throughout the pattern there. In that first uh, stitch there, that first double crochet, we will insert one double crochet, so we'll yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. In the next stitch we will increase, so we'll insert two double crochets into that stitch. One double crochet into the next, and then two double crochets into the next. And that is the pattern for this round. You will insert one double crochet and then two into the next. You'll repeat that all the way around. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, it's starting to kind of dome out here. And you should have 30 stitches all together and also you should end with an increase with two double crochets into the last stitch there. Again, to close this round, we'll just slip stitch that first double crochet and we'll skip right over that chain two there. For this next round, we will chain up two again. We will insert one double crochet into the next two stitches. So that's one, and two, and then in the next stitch we will insert two double crochets. And that's kind of how you like increase a circle pattern is in between every increase you just insert another stitch. So see how the previous round we had an increase there, one stitch and then an increase. And then for this round it will be an increase, two stitches, then an increase. So that's a pattern for the most circles that you'll see in the crochet world. 
So you'll just insert one double crochet into the next two. And then an increase. And that's the pattern for this round. Insert two as an increase with two in between. Okay, so for this round you should have 40 stitches all together and then again you should end with an increase with uh, two double crochets into that last stitch there. So th again you'll just skip over that chain two and then just slip stitch that first double crochet. For the next round it's going to be pretty similar so we will just chain up two insert one double crochet into that first stitch and then one double crochet into the next two and then an increase into the next stitch there So it's kind of like the last round, but like I said, we're just adding one more double crochet in between the increases. So that's the pattern for this round. We will insert one double crochet into the next three stitches, and then two into the next there. You will repeat that all the way around. You should have 50 stitches all together. Okay, so I just finished with that round there. Again, I'm just going to skip over that chain two and then we will slip stitch that first double crochet. And see how it's starting to kind of dome out even more. So for this next round, we will chain up two again in the next four stitches we will insert one double crochet and then in the next stitch we will do an increase so we will insert two double crochets into the same stitch so just insert one double crochet into the next four and then two double crochets into the next. You will repeat that around. You will have 60 stitches all together at the end of this round. Okay, so I just finished up with that round and then again we will skip the chain two and then slip stitch that first double crochet to end the round. This next round, again, we will chain up two. We will insert one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then in the next stitch you will do an increase, so you will insert two double crochets into that same stitch. And 
You will repeat that around. You will insert one double crochet into the next five stitches and then insert two into the next. You will repeat that all the way around. For this round, you will have 70 stitches altogether. And the last stitch, you will end with an increase. Okay, so I just finished up with that round. We will then skip over the first chain two and then slip stitch that first double crochet. Okay, so from rounds eight through 17, they will be the same. So I'll show you right now. We will chain up two. Insert one double crochet into that first stitch. and then just insert one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And you're going to be doing that all the way up until row 17. By doing this, just inserting one double crochet into each stitch and stopping the increasing amount, we will start um, kind of forming our hat. It will start just going down straight instead of um, increasing out in rows, if that makes sense. So if you need it to be wider, just add on another increase row. So to just do another round of increases, you will just insert one more uh, stitch, one more double crochet in between each of these increases there. So the next round you will just have six single crochet or double crochets in between your increases. The row after that it will be seven. And then vice versa if you need to decrease it, just um, stop adding rows whenever you would like. So yeah, from this point forward on this round, you'll just insert one double crochet into each stitch. See how your piece is just starting to be straight and starting to come down? That's what you're looking for. So to close the rounds, you will just again skip over the chain two and slip stitch the first double crochet. You will chain up two to start up the new round. And then just insert one double crochet into each stitch, just like the previous round there. And then, like I said, you'll do that all the way up until round 17 and then I will meet you back since it's pretty repetitive I'm going to be doing this portion off camera and then whenever I come back I'll teach you guys how to do the brim okay so this is what your piece should be looking like right now I just completed uh, 17 rows there so now we will start on the 18th row and this will be the brim portion of the hat so you will chain up two, so you'll yarn over by going under the yarn, hooking it and pulling it through the loop onto the hook. In that first stitch there, we are going to do a front post double crochet. So it's basically the same thing as a double crochet, we're just going to work around the post. And the post is this little portion of the stitch. So we're going to be working around the post instead of through the top of the stitch like that, like we have been doing. To do a front post double crochet, you will go under the yarn, so we'll yarn over, hook it, and then we will go around the post like this, yarn over again, Pull it back through the post there, 
three loops on the hook there, yarn over, pull through two of the loops, so that leaves you with two left onto the hook, so you will yarn over and pull through two. So that's a front post double crochet. In the next stitch we will do a back post double crochet. To do a back post double crochet you will yarn over and then go in through the back of the post and then around it. See we isolated it in the back there. Yarn over, pull through the post, that leaves you with three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the two loops, two loops left onto the hook there, so you'll yarn over and pull through the last two. Alright, so that's a front post and a back post double crochet. I'll show you guys again. So we'll do a front post, yarn over, go in through the front of the post there, isolate it there, yarn over, pull it through the post, or around it I should say. That leaves you three loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, leaves you with two. So you'll yarn over, pull through two. So that's another front post double crochet. I'll show you a back post double crochet again. So you will yarn over, go in through the back of the post there, around it, so that it's all isolated there. Yarn over, pull around the post. Yarn over, pull through the two loops, yarn over and pull through the two loops. So that's the pattern for this round. You're just going to go back and forth and do a front post double crochet and a back post. You'll just go all the way around, alternating between the two. You will do that all the way around and I will meet you back. Okay, so I did that all the way around and as you can see it's starting to form like a ribbed pattern there. So again, to close the rounds, what we'll do is skip over that chain two there and then in that first front post double crochet in the top of the stitch there, we will slip stitch, so we'll yarn over pull through the stitch and then pull through the loop onto the hook. From rounds 18 through 21, so we just did round 18, they're going to be the same. So you're just going to chain up two. And what you'll do is just alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet. So we'll just isolate that front post there by yarning over, going around the post there, yarning over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So every front post you come across you'll do another front post on it and then every back post you come across you'll do another back post on it. So we've come across another back post, see how it's kind of set back there? So then you'll go in and around the post there okay see how we isolated it yarn over and pull through three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you'll just repeat that all the way around
So I will meet you guys back after row 21. Okay, so I just completed 21 rows there. So this is what your piece should be looking like. So what you'll do is just tie off here. You'll just um, get your scissors. And then to secure it shut, what we'll do is just yarn over and pull through the last loop on the hook all the way through. And then pull it tightly. And then you'll just sew in this strand here. But yeah, this uh, pattern is super simple and easy to create and whips up really fast. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.